This mission has the promise to be able to do things that no other landed mission has ever done before. I like to uh, joke that this rover has a lot of hobbies. Not only is it has to be good at flying through interplanetary space, this rover has to fly to the surface. It's actually in charge. This is not a radio control vehicle. This is a fully autonomous robotic vehicle that flies through the atmosphere of Mars. Even when you slow down in the atmosphere with a heat shield, you're still going 1,000 miles an hour. And so we open to this massive supersonic parachute. And that par parachute slows you down to about 200 miles an hour. It's still a little too fast to hit the ground with. So we have to do something else. Now for a big rover like this, it's really hard to build a big airbag. So we said, what if we skip the airbag step altogether? So by turning the system upside down and lowering it on ropes and landing on the wheels, we've, we've solved a bunch of technical problems that have been haunting us for a very long time. All these hundreds of thousands of pieces, whether it's half a million lines of software or nearly 80 pyrotechnic explosions, not to mention many mechanical systems and separation devices and parachutes and rockets, all of those have to function flawlessly. It's amazing.